my dear students as we are going to discuss about interview preparation and in uh, interview preparation the job analysis is one of the most important step so what job analysis need to do education and prior experience is another very key component of a job analysis the process of job analysis continues with identifying appropriate educational and prior experience prerequisites each and every job position has some prerequisites in terms of educational qualification and prior experience so job analysts need to consider prior experience and job qualification in best possible way this can be best be accomplished when managers and hr representatives join together to ask these key questions so this is not only the job of an hr manager in addition to the hr manager line representative or line manager need to be sit with hr manager or hr representative and they need to ask several questions several key questions what are those key questions let's see number 1 what skills and knowledge are needed to successfully perform the primary duties and responsibilities of this job you know each and every job has primary duties and responsibilities and those duties and responsibilities cannot be accomplished without having particular knowledge skills and abilities k s a knowledge skills and abilities if you don't know about the key knowledge skills and abilities to perform the major duties and responsibilities of any particular job position it is not good idea to start an interview so as a part of interview preparation you need to consider you need to answer that what are the key knowledge skills and abilities are required to accomplish this particular duties and responsibilities of job number two question why are these skills and knowledge necessary it is not enough to say what what knowledge skills and abilities are required the second question is also very much important even much more important than the first question that why these skills and knowledge and abilities are necessary how these skills and knowledge would help to accomplish the job in a best possible way because it is a higher level thinking that what is not sufficient in addition to what we need to answer why these skills are important why these skills are necessary and how these skills and knowledge would contribute to the to the to accomplish the job in a best possible way number 3 why could not someone without these skills and knowledge perform the primary duties of the job my dear students sometimes there are some people who would not have any particular qualification or they don't have particular knowledge but they have some kind of skills they have some kind of things in themselves that they can perform the job whether such kind of people can perform the job duties and responsibilities so you have to answer this question as well and number 4 are the requirements consistent with the job duties and responsibilities this is a very tricky question there must be an alignment between the knowledge skills and abilities of the person and the duties and responsibilities which need to be performed so there should be a linkage if that linkage exists that is good if that linkage doesn't exist obviously that is not a good idea that the requirements are not consistent with the job duties and responsibilities so there must be a consistency between the requirements of the job and the job duties and responsibilities to learn the balance to lack of a specific educational or experience experiential requirements or to round out the concrete requirements of the job intangible criteria can be helpful as well in addition to that knowledge skills and abilities some intang intangible skills and criteria are also necessary for example ability to get along with coworkers a uh, management implies clients and customers so how the person has an ability to get along with coworkers management employees clients customers vendors is also very much important now there are some skills uh, intangible criteria uh, which include the appearance of the person attire its assertiveness and uh, then its attitude toward job its creativity and imagination initiative management style maturity to perform the job personality responsiveness towards work self confidence temperament these all are the intangible requirement which are quite important to get the job which are quite important to perform the major duties and responsibilities in any particular job keeping this profile in mind as job seekers are considered 
can be helpful particularly if two or more applicants meet the concrete requirement of the job. So if two people are meeting the concrete requirement of the job, then you need to decide that which one is the best. You can then compare intangible job related criteria to help make the final decision. Intangibles can also be helpful in evaluating applicants for entry level jobs. So be careful when making comparison based on intangibles since the meaning of certain terms can be highly subjective. Uh, popular applicant evaluation phrases are uh, saying that an applicant has a bad attitude, a winning personality, uh, a nice appearance, or a mature approach to work may not translate the same way for everyone. So these phrases should not be compared for the applicant A and for the applicant B. The meanings of these phrases are different for a different applicants to whom you are going to compare. Furthermore, such description really don't tell anything substantive about what the person can contribute to a given job. So it is better to focus on knowledge, skills, and abilities of a person to perform any key duties and responsibilities for any particular job in your organization. 